You see that man right there? It may look like he has a belt-fed machine gun, but look at the tip. Just the tip. Just to see how it looks. That's a wizard staff. Huh? <laughs> That's because these guys are like SWAT team wizards. I mean, look at this. They used magic to breach a door and they just took out all of these like presumably like evil minions. I'm, I'm kind of curious why this guy's called a Mafia Sprig Stillness. But I do love the fact that I fired a magical assault rifle and I knocked a dude outside of a moving ship, which is the mission that we're sent to infiltrate right now. So we move on to the next room in the ship. We've got to breach the door. They sure are pretty chatty Cathy. And once again, we magically breach open a door. Now, this is interesting. These guys have like silenced submachine guns. Interestingly enough, they want me to move to the laptop. Once again, the minions are conveniently located right next to some portholes in this ship and I get to shoot them outside. And then I'm just gonna duck behind this box and well, what do you know, man? We're using our tactical prowess to win ourselves this engagement. Now, since the enemy couldn't shoot me because I was behind cover, they didn't move. That's interesting. Now we have a limited number of action points that's sort of like just classic XCOM style games. And my compatriot, Liv Kennedy right here, is absolutely incredible at stomping the enemies. This guy's name is Shrub Lord. Now, what's interesting is, like, we're wizards, right? But the rest of the guys, like, while they're dressed kind of funny, this guy's in a suit and, like, tree leaves. He's also just using a non-magical-looking firearm. But when I shoot them... Oh, look at that! Okay, so using my magical abilities of foresight, I can see that this Shrub Lord guy is going to shoot Liv right out the window. So what we need to do is rewind to the very beginning. And now we're going to take the bullets instead of allowing Liv to fly out the porthole of this ship. You always get tactical depth in this kind of a game. All right, so let's see what happens. He's just going to do that. I, I can accept that. That's fine. We will accept that as the outcome. My wizard Xan took some shots, but Liv didn't fly out the ship. And while we're not at full health, we can move on to the next room. Feeling that we have at least a chance. Oh, these red doors, there's going to... What? What the heck is that indeed? Look at this thing. It's an extractor. Oh, it's taking our magical force out of us. And you may be asking yourself, well, how does one extract magical essence from somebody? Well, that's easy. Get a giant tarantula, duct tape it to your back, and then it's going to go... And there you have it. It's just science, guys. I think this is pretty straightforward. Mr. Extractor with the giant tarantula on his back is conveniently located next to a window on a moving ship. We know what to do here. <laughs> Get out the porthole. Oh my gosh. And they have someone who is not handcuffed, but tied with roots because magic. All right, so now if we want to foresee this, okay, that's problematic. They would execute the hostage, which is not ideal. So do we want to let this guy get, he's going to lose half of his health, but we'll protect the hostage and then we'll deal with the extractor on the next turn. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can't save them both. That extractor like like warps to another dimension. This is another level of magic. Now, we lost our magical compatriot and that was apparently what we were supposed to do. Would you stop killing the hostage? This is getting ridiculous. I wonder if I could, hold on. Can I move here and like block the incoming shot? Oh, it, oh never mind. I can just immediately blink out. So, okay. that. That didn't work. I think we have to move here. And before I leave, I need to execute this mafia guy. Okay, this isn't working. Let's go here, and we'll take the three round burst on this guy. There we go, that knocked him out. And then this guy's looking at the hostage. Blink out. Tactical breach wizards. There you have it. You've seen what we're dealing with here. This game is insane, in a good way. Less lethal pyromancer. <laughs> what a funny name, okay. Now, I've got a different wizard here. This one's Jen Kellen. So let's try to, I guess, blast him. He's in the fire. He is a pyromancer though, so maybe we'll go down here and take cover behind the desk so hopefully the pyromancer doesn't destroy us. Somehow we need to throw this person out of a window. Now it's just a puzzle game. Hey, we figured it out. We knocked the pyromancer out of a window. We've moved on to the next room and here's Zan. Wait a minute, what are the police officers doing attacking the wizard? Did you just see how he just like hovered over his gun? 
and left it floating there because, well, you know, he's a wizard. Okay, so I've got, oh, this should be, I've got something called a chain bolt. Oh, I think I could knock three of them out. Look at this. And then Zan took out the other one with his magical M4. This is what you call an absolutely ridiculous game. Let's go ahead and use this magical laptop. Move on here. Zone two out of six is completed. This is sort of like XCOM meets, you know, Merlin the wizard meets a puzzle game. And this guy brought a plastic shield to a battle with wizards. All right, I would love to knock this guy out of a window that normally works pretty well. So what if I go through this door, kick it open, knock him here, and then we shoot him out the window. And I can do that with a redeploy action. So we'll breach here, we'll blow it open, and we'll three shot burst this guy right in front of there. Then we'll switch over to Jen. Jen's gonna do this and voila, out the window. Now, I'm noticing a theme here and it's all about seeing if we can't knock the enemy out the windows. In games like this before, oftentimes it's like get two of them in the same spot, throw a grenade and go boom skis. Two birds and one hand and all of them in a bush, something like that. But I, I do need to know why I, I skipped all the cutscenes, so. <laughs> Predictive Bolt, we've got a new ability. Aim in a direction with no enemy head to prepare a shot in the future. Okay. Honestly, this is more like a puzzle game and less like an XCOM game in my opinion so far. Just with how everything's working. There we go. If we move here, he'll charge around. And let's see what it looks like. <laughs> wow, that is a powerful blast. All right, so we like that outcome, and what's interesting is given our magical time manipulation Deus Ex Machina devices, we actually can foresee the action, but don't have to replay it if we don't want to. Okay, here we go. If I move over here, I can what, seal this door? We'll foresee this, it goes well, we like it, we accept it, and we have to seal this door over here. We should be able to do a predictive bolt, and anyone who comes through that door is gonna get blasted, right? Although I think it's only gonna happen in two turns. Uh, I wanna seal the door. Ha ha! With magical wood, which is translucent because of course it is. Zone four out of six is complete. Our tactical magical wizards here are doing their dang job. What is the plan this time? I don't know. All right, improvise. So knock out three enemies. Okay, so he's gonna attack me here unless I'm gonna do a predictive bolt this way. And then Jen is going to breach. And what, ow, he shot me. All right, let's see if this works. Ah, uh, that actually did. Now what we can do is take cover with Jen and Zan is going to take some shots to the face, I guess. Um, actually, he has an action point left. That went off without too much of a hitch. Now Jen did take some damage, but we're gonna see if that carries over to the next zone or if it doesn't. This is the way out. Well, it's on the way to the way out. <laughs> I like it. Okay, we've got a lot of friendly windows here. And we did regenerate our health between these zones. All right, so we breached. Move here. And three shot burst this guy. Oh, that didn't quite knock him out the window. All right, we're going to send Jen in first. There we go. That's perfect. And we'll do a predictive bolt and end the turn. Oh, someone just came through the door. And we need to open the security door. I guess it would have been cool. We could have left. Can we, we can't rewind to the previous phase. Otherwise I would have moved Zan here and blasted this dude. That looks like it's gonna work just fine. Can I chain bolt these guys? That worked out fine. Wait a minute, what kind of gun is Jen using? It looks like she's got like a knife, a nightstick magical knife and a flashlight. That's weird. I don't think I have a time limit. I wanna foresee, what if we don't do anything? Okay, then Jen just gets zapped. And I think what we're gonna do is move up here and three shot burst this tracker. Now we split up our forces. I do not wanna do that, I would prefer to move. I guess we'll just take cover. Okay, this is a, this is a lot. <laughs> that worked out. Now they're right next to the window. We wanna choose Zan. Three round burst, that guy's straight out the window. There's a lot of windows and doors in this, all right? Easy peasy. Now we'll get you over to the laptop, we'll use it, we'll open the door, and we're done with stage six out of six. All right, maybe we should find out a little bit about what's going on, but it sure looks like we may have just, may have found a new 
Team member? Well, I would say that's a victory. Why are people in bubbles? <laughs> yeah. And who is this thing? Ooh, perks. Spend each character's perk points. So this is nice. All right, so we've got one perk for him. Do we want one more damage? Oh, if the shot knocks someone out, it can be used again this turn. Okay, Predictive Bolt is massively powerful, as we've seen. So I choose Conviction. Now, as far as you, plus two knockback if used at point-blank range. We haven't gotten terribly close for that. But Chain Bolt, being able to target three enemies, could come into play. Or plus two knockback on the final target. This is interesting because there's not a clear choice. Granted, part of that might be due to lack of experience. I would like more targets. A target-rich environment is an environment that's rich in targets. And we need to be able to meet those targets richly. I have no idea what I'm saying. Hey, look at this. All right, so this is the world we're in. So there's the Rushwater Police Station in the DSR. Um, I feel like that gif of the dude from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia just like connecting all these lines, except like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I did it. So why you can't question my methods, you can't question the result. I think they heard about the Rushwater thing. Knock out all the enemies. And we've got three enemies that are gonna be coming in through the door. Lots of guns, this guy's here. I'm gonna need to move. I'm gonna go ahead and blah, 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 blah. I think it's called, the technical term is blibbity blibbity blap. And we need to blibbity blibbity blap these guys. Shaplowy! Now you, oh, I got a grenade. You know I love me some grenades. Let's go ahead and, uh, we only got one action point left, so we're gonna duck. Now, oh, snap! Dude's got Grenadier Monoceros over here. Well, he has a launcher of grenades, and I don't like that. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Are these kids gonna grab guns from up here? Okay, we need to seal the reinforcement doors. I think this is the time to use the Gale Grenade. That didn't do it. Okay, remember when we wanted to be able to hit three targets with the Chain Lightning? That's why. That was fantastic. Okay, what's interesting is you can't do a predictive bolt if an enemy's already there. It pretty much one-taps any enemy. Oh, that was fantastic. So actually, now there shouldn't be a grenade, right? I don't think he's gonna be able to fire one because the man who is gonna do it is dead. Except maybe he already did. Sure, whatever. We're magicians, we don't <laughs> I say magicians like we're doing like cheap parlor tricks. You know, like we, we go to like, like short little hairy footed people's birthdays and bring like fireworks that turn into dragons and that kind of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and seal this door. So we got one out of these optional confidence goals. And stage one out of three is completed for the good guys. And we move on to the next room, which seems to be the armory of a police station. Now, this might be the impound, actually. It looks like of a mi mix of an impound with an armory, because reasons. All right, so we got one guy hiding behind here, another guy hiding behind here, two guys over here. We do have two grenadiers, and if we don't take them out quickly, it's gonna prove to be an issue. Awesome. I would like you to breach this door, and then we're gonna take Jen, and can we do this? Static blast, knocks him out. Uh, okay, we've got a grenade. This is what you call bad. What I could do is shaplowy. You gotta have the technical terminology down if you wanna be a wizard. Shablappy! <laughs> and we'll take cover. All right. That seems to be pretty good. We will accept that term. Oh gosh. Okay, now we're getting cornered in here. I've gotta first take this guy out. Actually, I would really love to seal this door so one less enemy's coming in. And we'll shapowie! Gosh dang, look at this! These grenades, this is getting out of hand. Okay. This is fine, this is fine, we're all fine here. Oh my gosh, another laser sight. Okay, this is the safest spot, but that doesn't kill him. I could shoot him out, and I get shot there if I take cover, no. Okay, I could use a Gale Grenade, and hopefully that stuns them. That wouldn't be enough. One extra action for good old Jen, and I'll do a chain shot. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, all right. I think I wanna hit them into the wall. Seems to be far more effective when you blast somebody into a wall than anything else. And I can get a three round burst on, actually. So what's interesting is in most XCOM games, you, you sort of have like this accuracy thing you're dealing with, like um, grab the intel and deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. Excuse me? I guess we should have used Zan's time boost a little bit and we probably could have done that, but we didn't. 
So stage two or three. But yeah, in most XCOM games, like the chances of you being able to hit an enemy are probability based. And there's a lot of things that can affect that probability. In this game, you're 100% guaranteed to get a hit, which is interesting. Now, I found out about this game because my buddy Splattercat recommended it, and it is fun. Knock out all enemies. 11 enemies left. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, but there's a lot of doors. Let's breach. Shapla! And can I hit this dude out the window? Yeah. All right, good. And we'll predict it both the door because I assume this guy's gonna come through the door now you just need to breach through the door and use the laptop which unlocks this door which predictive bolted this one are, are we gonna just sort of like static step our way in here I think what we want to do is get Zan up here and this window can hit here and lure this guy through the door and we predictive bolt that way I'm not entirely sure but I think that's the play we'll weaken him because, I mean, what else are we going to do with this turn? I love it. Okay. Now, this window covers this one. So, Jen could get up here and shoot through. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. Now, Zan should just be able to go through here, breach the door, and then three-round burst this guy. Oh, gosh. He's actually still... He's still... Excuse me? And, Jen, I want you to... Static blast this guy. There we go. Out the window. Fantastic. So what do we do? Well, in classic, you know, SWAT team fashion, just with a magical twist, we breach the door. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. All right. We're going to chain bolt. <laughs> I actually didn't need to uh, predictive bolt here, did I? All right. So I think what we do... Oh, there's a guy hiding over here. All right, so we got three enemies left. This guy's actually pretty strong. I think we just get our troops into position. And we don't have any more action, so this is going to be it. Now, turn six. What are our bonus objectives? We already completed them. That's fantastic. This guy's covering that door. All right, I think Jen's up first. You're going to breach. And we'll just shablammy this dude right into the wall. And Jen can't go through without getting shot. So you'll breach as well. And you'll three round burst this guy. I guess that's the end of the turn. One here, one up there. And then can either of you reach that door? No, we cannot. All right, predictive bolt. We'll blast this door. Jen, you're gonna move up and we're gonna try to seal this door. There we go. Jen, seal the door. And Zan, go head on over to the laptop and use it. And that is stage three out of three. So this is Tactical Breach Wizards, and I mean, everything you need to know about the game is literally in the title. It's fun. It's a free-to-play demo. It's part of Steam Next Fest right now. Check it out. The game is a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.